A ver, yo fui criado católico. Crecí en un colegio recontra católico. Y estoy orgulloso de los valores que tengo como católico. Yo soy una persona católica, de una familia católica. He sido educado en un colegio recontra católico. Y estoy bien orgulloso de mis valores católicos. How would you identify Michelle's Jewish identity? And do you feel you and she together now have a Jewish identity that you want to impart to Claire? Yes. Um, for Michelle, being Jewish is really, really important. It's re in every single day of her life. We go to the synagogue, we, do all the, we experience all the tradition, and she's not only that, she's pro-Israel too which is, as you said, is really different here in the Jewish community. My daughter is going to be raised Jewish. She is? Yes. That does not bother you? No. Does that bother your mother? Absolutely not. Does it ever occur, uh, occur to you that you want to become a Jew formally yourself? You know, there's so much about you that feels Jewish, but you have never made a formal decision to become part of the Jewish community. Is it at all conceivable to you that you would one day want to become part of the Jewish community and convert and become a Jew? I thought about it more than one time, and with my wife too. But one of the things that I understood about being Jewish is that you need to be ready and prepared, and it's not easy to get into the Jewish community because in other religions, they are like proactive to get you involved. In the Jewish community, it's different. We don't want you, we're not going to force you to be part of us. But if you want to be part of us, we need to be sure that you want to be part of us. So that time is not now, but I know what it means. And the time when, if I made a decision, I'm going to be, I need to be, I need to feel that I'm ready. And, and you're not ready, ready yet. I am still, you know, in the process. Okay. I am still in the process. I And a very, it's an unfair question, but I'll ask no, it please. anyway. Would it hurt you politically if you converted and became a Jew? Can uh, somebody who is not Catholic become president of Peru? Mm -hmm. Be honest with me now. Absolutely. I think so, maybe. 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 By the way, is there in Peru any serious... Islamic or Muslim population? No, but we have a very significant risk. And the risk is that Iran is already present in three Latin American countries. Yes. Yeah, Venezuela, Bolivia, and Nicaragua. Is the presence of Hezbollah in any way a threat in Peru? Indirectly. How? <sighs> Drug dealing. Part of the financial... Uh, support that Hezbollah has, it's from drug dealing in Peru and Bolivia. And that's another issue. That's another issue. Para ti, la, la comunidad islámica es algún tipo de, de riesgo? ¿O por qué, util, por qué utilizaste o por qué te expresaste de esa manera para hablar de la. No, no, en realidad no significa ningún riesgo. Yo nunca he pensado así. Uh -huh. Es más, una. Pero lo dijiste. A ver, en primer lugar, quiero saber si es que esa frase la dije. Sí. Y si, y si efectivamente está, quiero aclararla. Perfecto. ¿No? Que es lo mejor. Claro, exacto. Mira, yo he sido profesor en varias universidades, no solo en el Perú, sino fuera. Uh -huh. Y una de las cosas que yo digo todo el tiempo es que las personas que hemos estado en varios países en el mundo sabemos cómo es la realidad. Y, por ejemplo, a mí me molesta cuando la gente se refiere a los musulmanes o a los palestinos como terroristas. Y yo digo siempre... Y viceversa, oye, ¿no? También a los, así es. A los y yo digo, oye, ustedes saben que la inmensa minoría, el 0.0 tanto por ciento de la población musulmana es violenta. 